Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm really excited for this video. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to do um, an eyeshadow look using a new palette. So the palette that I am talking about is the new 3-in-1 kit by Smashbox. And this is the palette that's got um, nine eyeshadows in it, four face powders, and then two eyebrow powders and a wax. So I just recently picked mine up. I think I picked it up last week. Um, and I'm really excited because I just was like, oh, I want to use it. So let me open it and show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's a beautiful palette. It's it's quite big, but obviously it's really sleek and it's got the Smashbox um, logo engraved on it. And then when you open it up, it's got a really nice big mirror in it, which I absolutely love. And then without blinding you, let me turn it this way. So as you can see here, we've got nine eyeshadows and then we've got four face powders and then the eyebrow compartments over here, which are so, so good. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it with both hands and not blind you at the same time. The bit I love is this wax in here because it's got a little cover on it so you don't end up getting any of these two powders or any powders out of this palette so I'm really really in love with this palette so the colours on here are obviously this is a wax this is um, taupe and then soft brown and then over on the face, ugh, face powders the two bottom ones are a highlighter and a glow and then up at the top we've got a contour and then a bronze and then moving across we've got the nine eyeshadows over there which are absolutely beautiful so yes this is a really really nice kit you get a double sided brush as well in here so um, I've not actually used this brush but I have heard that it's really really good but I just thought I really want to try something and why not try out with these eyeshadows there's such a lovely array of colours in here from light to dark you've got your neutrals in there and then you've got a really nice um, matte black eyeshadow which is really good I'm really loving this matte purple as well as well as the champagne pink above it I just think the colours are so so pretty and then especially me personally I would say that this kind of kit was suitable for somebody with my complexion so obviously if you were a little bit darker in skin toned or even really light in skin toned I wouldn't necessarily say this was a kit that was that good the eyeshadows yeah you could definitely use but then when it came to the face products or the eyebrow products it might not necessarily be something that you could, would go for but with that being said I definitely still think that you would be able to use the face powders I mean to be quite honest with you I would probably use the bronze shade especially um, in my crease of my eyebrow so I would definitely eyebrow in the crease of my eyebrow no <laughs> in the crease of my lid <laughs> so you could definitely use that in there um i just think it is a really really good palette the best part about this palette is normally this palette does retail for 60 pound which is really really expensive but then for a limited time only um they had it on offer so it was half price so it was 30 pound and then on the day that I actually went to pick this up, they had a further 10% off it. So I only paid £27 for this palette, which is absolutely amazing considering of the amount of product that you get in here. It's a really nice big palette. It's sturdy, so if you're travelling with it, it's going to be absolutely fine. And again, it's plain and black, but it's so chic. It's just really, really nice. I love palettes like this. And of course, you all know me, I will keep the box because that's where it's going to go into. <laughs> So let's jump straight into this. I've already got foundation on my face and I've already filled in my eyebrows just mainly because I want this to be an eyeshadow look. I just want to use the eyeshadows that are in here and give them a try. So first time using it. I've not tried it before so this is definitely going to be an experience. So let's jump straight in. Okay so I think I'm going to start off by taking um, this middle shade right here which is called Total, Totally Nude. And I'm going to pop this all into my crease. Let me find a nice fluffy brush to do that with. I think I'm going to use. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pick up some of that eyeshadow. Oh, Ooh, that's some powdery eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pop this into the crease of my eye. Again, this is just a transition shade. So it's going to help with any um, other colours that we're going to put in. And then just make sure that everything blends really, really nice. Well, this is a really beautiful nude shade. It's got just a touch of pink to it. I like it. I don't know if I like this brush, though. 
there is definitely a lot of fallout as well it's very very powdery as I'm putting my brush into it the powder is going all over the palette I don't think I'm liking that but it's fine so again all I'm doing is pushing my brush into the product tapping off any excess and then in wiper motions I'm just pushing it into the crease of my eye, eye lid I'm really tempted to say eyebrow I keep wanting to say my eyebrow not your eyebrow Gemma, you're going into your eye. This mirror is amazing. Okay, so as much as I really, really do like that crease colour, it is a beautiful shade. It's very light. There's definitely a hint of pink in there. But it's really nice. So we've got our first shade down. Now I'm actually going to go above that shade with the same brush. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Stripped. So this one here. And it is a lighter colour than the one that we've just used. It is more of a natural nude colour. So I'm going to take that on the brush, tap off the excess. And now we're just going to pop this right above where we have just placed that first transition colour. I think I would have bought it just for the mirror. The mirror is amazing. And all you're going to do is you're just going to keep going back and blending your colour out. So even though it might not look like you have anything down, at the end, the finished result, you will be able to see it. And it'll just all look really blended and so nice. So yeah, it'll look very, very pretty. So I'm really torn about a shade, because I like my eyeshadow to pop, so I really, really do want um, my look to pop, and I think I'm going to go with, I'm so tempted to take the purple colours and use them, but I've done so many um, eyeshadow looks lately where I've used the, pur the purple colour. <coughs> Um, okay, so I think I'm going to take these three shades um, down this side here. So we have the black at the bottom, which is called Blackout. We've got Platinum in the middle and Champagne on the top. So I think I'm going to use them three shades to try and just create a really nice subtle smoky eye. So I think I'm actually going to go in with a different kind of brush. I'm going to take a flat shader brush like this one and I'm actually going to go in with the black first I'm kind of worried about a lot of fallout for wow that is very black look at that on my brush so again I'm going to tap off the excess and then I'm just going to pop this onto the outer V of my eye that is very black I think with this you could probably be a little bit messy here, I wouldn't worry too much about that just merely because we are going to go ahead and then blend out that black colour. So again I'm keeping it quite low, I'm not going above my um, crease, I just want the focus of the colour just to be on the outer V and you can be quite messy with it as well. Okay, so once we've got that black in there, I'm now going to go in with a fluffier brush and we're just going to blend the black so it doesn't look so harsh and this will definitely tone it down a little bit. So just over the black and then into the crease ever so slightly. We're going to pull that and then again on the other side. So all I'm doing is in circular motions, I'm just going over that black to blend it. And then I'm just pulling it into the crease as well. So we're not coming all the way in. Just because we're going to put some colour on there, I'm going to make that bit pop. So I'm just going to keep blending this out. And then I will probably just add a little bit more black in there. So as you can see, considering what it looked like when we first applied that black, it was really like bam in your face. Now it has toned it down a little bit. We've still got a bit of deepness on the end, but here just on the sensory bit, it's kind of gone into like a smoldery grey kind of colour, which is really, really nice. So I'm just going back in with my flat shader brush, a little bit more of that blackout eyeshadow, 
tap off any excess and then we're just again just going to go over so depending on how you like your eyeshadow I would say you can just keep going over it as many times as you like until you get the desired effect that you want from your eyeshadow I mean let's be quite honest eyeshadow any type of makeup is there to be played with and it's makeup it washes off you can just if you make a mistake or you don't like how it turned out then it's fine just get a wipe go and wash your face it'll all come off and then you can go ahead and redo it again so that's what makeup is supposed to be for it's <laughs> a big girl's toy <laughs> or a big boy's toy depending if you want to wear makeup as well but that's what it is it's just something that's there for us to play with experiment with try out different looks get out of your comfort zone i mean nobody has to see you do it you could be in the comfort of your own home or up in your bedroom messing with makeup if you want to make yourself look all frightful and scary it's coming into halloween nearly it's fine go ahead do whatever you like <laughs> that's what it is for I mean to be quite honest I will take five minutes out of my night so if I've done my makeup for the day and I've gone out and I've done everything that I've wanted to do and I know that I'm about to wash off my makeup I'll take five minutes and I'll pull out a couple of palettes or some eyeliner and I will try out different looks because I'm going to be wiping it off anyway so it makes no difference if I make a mistake or I make it look all messy I think the other day I did mess with eyeliner and I had like one perfect wing and it looked all dead nice and then I had a, another one that and oh my god it was a hot mess it literally was like a two-year-old took a felt tip liner to my eye <laughs> so all I'm doing is just blending this black and I really like how it blends out it blends so so nice and again because we've got them crease colors in on our eyelid <laughs> um, it just makes the process of blending out any other colors really easy so I'm just gonna blend that a bit more so I really really like that that's really nice now all I'm gonna do is I just want to soften the edge just a little bit so I'm just gonna go back in again with that very first shade that we use which is this one here sorry if I just blinded you I told you this mirror is huge there's no hiding in this mirror and I'm just gonna go back into my crease and we're just gonna blend the top of that You know what they say about blending when you've blended for a long time and you think that you've done it enough do it for another couple of minutes brush and blend okay so i think i've blended that out enough so as you can see at the minute i've got a lot of color going on in the crease and then obviously i've got this black which is a little bit toned down to like a smoldering gray color just on the outer v and then part way into the center of my eye so now we want this area to pop or i want this area to pop because you all know me i love a shimmer and i love a sparkle and i cannot help it it's just the way i am so i'm gonna take another brush so i'm just going to take a shade of brush and i think that i'm just going to go in with the middle shade which is just above the black which is the platinum shade which if we can hold the mirror and tap it is this one right here so i'm just going to pop this one put we're going to pop this one into the center so again i'm just taking a little bit on the brush and i'm just popping it in And I'm just putting it right in the centre, just a little bit over where I've placed that black down. Because obviously we want all of this to blend together. So again, on the other eye, so I've got the product on the brush, I've tapped off the excess. And then all I'm doing is I'm just going straight on to where the centre of my eye is. And then I'm patting the colour down. so i'll probably go over it one more time on both sides so we're going to pat that color down and then the same on the other side again we're going to just pat it down like so and then going back in with my big fluffy brush i'm just going to blend into the crease and then back into that black just so that platinum color that we've just put on the center is all blended in so nicely don't 
don't be too worried about whether it's taking some of the colour away as well. I mean, I quite like a muted eye colour. I mean, if I wanted it to pop a bit more, I'd probably add a little bit of Fix Plus in there. But you can always go back in and you can re-add, you can touch up, you can literally put it to or get it to the um, effect that you want it to have. Get it to the effect you want it to have. That made no sense. You know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> So now we've got the crease colour in, we've got the colour on the outer V of our eye and then we've also got a nice little pop of colour right in the centre. Now I think I'm actually going to take a smaller brush, give me, have I got a small? I'm sorry, all my brushes have been washed so yes, I'm going to take this smaller brush and I'm actually going to take, what are you called, the champagne colour. So the champagne right from the top here. And I'm just going to pop it onto this brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to place this onto the inner tear duct of the eye and bring it down. So you're almost using this to highlight that area. So again, I'll probably just go over it one more time. And then I'm just going to bring it down to highlight. And then on the opposite side, Okay, so now we're just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. There is no additional product on this brush. There's no product whatsoever. This is a clean brush. There's nothing on it. And we're just going to go where we lay down the transition colours. And we're just going to blend everything out. Just so everything is blended and seamless and there are no harsh lines. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to go in with... I want a smaller brush. I say I'm going to go in with a domed brush and I'm going to take the lightest shade out of this eyeshadow palette. I'm really sorry but I'm trying to hold it up and I'm just getting it everywhere. So I'm actually going to take this shade right here and this is vanilla and we're going to use this just to highlight the brow bone area. So I'm just going to take it on a domed brush, tap off any excess and I'm just going to go underneath my eyebrow. Okay, so I have placed some mascara on now and I really, really like it. I really like the eyes. I didn't know how the look was going to turn out with the eyes, but I really do like it. So, I know I said I was just going to do my eyes with it, but then I thought, oh, I've got the palette out, why not? So, I've already got foundation on my face and I've already concealed underneath my eyes. So, let's go in and colour up a bit of my face. So, I think I'm going to take the bronzy shade in here, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to use this to warm up my skin. So I'm going to take it on. Oh, maybe that brush is a bit too big. Okay. So I'm going to take the Real Techniques. Um, this is a blusher brush. And I'm just going to dip it in to the bronzer. Tap off any excess. And I'm just going to use this to warm up my face. So now that I've bronzed up my skin a little bit with the bronzer. I'm actually going to take the highlighting shade in here which is this one right here and this is called glow so this is the glow shade and just on an ordinary fan brush i'm just going to dip my brush into it tap off any excess and i'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones oh this is a really nice highlighter oh this is really nice i think i might have got a bit of eyeshadow in there as well it's the price you pay. <laughs> well, this is a really nice highlighter. I actually do really like this. And then over my cupid's bow as well. And then anything on the brush, I'm just going to pop it on the tip of my nose. And then I love a good highlight, so I will go back over. Here and then just above my eyebrow as well. So that is pretty much the face done. All I'm going to do is now I'm just going to go in and fill my lips in with this very very beautiful Pinkberry lip liner. So 
So now I've outlined my lips, I'm just going to take a Wet n Wild lipstick and this is Deep Pink or Dark Pink Forests even <laughs> and this is a really pretty colour. Okay, so this is the finished look. I know I did say I was only going to be doing my eyes, but I just thought, well, the palette's there and it's got a few more products in it, why not try it? So overall, this palette is so, so good. I'm really, really happy with it. The colours that are inside it, and can I get some praise, people? I stayed away from the purple eyeshadows. They are my favourite shadows to play with. I love a purple smoky eye, but I didn't. <laughs> I resisted the temptation and I stuck with the bronzy and the black in there. And I'm really, really loving this black shade. It's very hard sometimes to find a nice matte black shadow inside of palettes. So the fact that this palette comes with that shade in there is so, so good. And this um, champagne colour and what was the other one? Platinum are so, so beautiful. So they've definitely got so much going on for them in this palette. You've got your transition shades, you've got your neutrals to darks, you've got some pops of colour in there, mattes and glitters you've literally got everything inside one palette and then of course obviously i've used the bronzing powder to bronze up my face i've used the glow um powder to highlight the tops of my cheekbones my cupid's bone the tip of my nose it literally has so much going for it i'm really really impressed with this palette i would definitely still say that at full price i would buy this palette because it is so so good and i knew that i definitely wanted it anyway so yes if you can get this palette um uh, whilst it's still reduced then please go and get it it is such an amazing palette but if you can't and it is gone or it has gone back up to full price i hope that this video and seeing me use some of the shadows in here and the face powders give you an idea on what the palette would be like and whether it would work for you i would definitely say this palette um overall is such a good good palette the fact that it has got the nine eyeshadows four face powders and then the three eyebrow products <laughs> See, there was another brain fart. That was the second one during this video. <laughs> so yes, this is a really, really good palette and I'm really impressed with it. This was my first time using any eyeshadows by Smashbox. So again, it's something that I'm so glad that I finally have been able to get the chance to do it. So I was really glad to do that. Um, just as a quick side note, I'm not sponsored by anybody to talk about this palette. I merely, I went out, I purchased the purchased this palette with my own money and I just wanted to come on here and give you guys my my genuine view on it how I actually felt it worked whether I really like this palette and I do I really like it <laughs> it's a cute palette so yes I'm gonna leave it at that because I've rambled the whole way out through this video and I do apologize um again I just want to say thank you for watching and if you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up and please feel free to leave me a comment I love to hear what you guys are thinking or even if you guys have got this palette and you've tried it out let me know how you find it does it work for you does it not work for you just leave me a comment let's have a good old natter about it <laughs> and if you haven't already then please Please subscribe to me so you don't miss out on any future videos that I've got coming and also my sneak peeky giveaway that should be starting next month so there is a little red button down there somewhere so just hop on across and press that and I will speak to you all in my next video bye guys